How to crochet the Posy Arcade Stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Feel Good Yarn Company, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Lana Monday Yarns Tajik Mohair in the color Violet. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet, two double crochet cluster, three double crochet cluster. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of eight plus two. Row one, beginning on the right side of our work, we will do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Then we are going to chain five, Then we're going to skip three chains and we will do a single crochet into the next chain. So one, two, three, single crochet into this fourth chain here. All right, and we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across, starting with our chain five until the end of the row. Row two, after we've turned our work, we're going to chain five. Then we're gonna start a repeat by doing a single crochet into the next five chain space. That's gonna be this right here. Then we're gonna chain two. And then we're going to do a three double crochet cluster into the next single crochet. That's this right here. So the three double crochet cluster, yarn over, insert our hook into the single crochet and draw through. Then we'll yarn over and draw through two. Okay, we're going to leave those two loops on our hook. That's going to be the first of our three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert again and draw through, then draw through two. And one more time. So we're going to end up with four loops on our hook, and then we're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops together. All right. Now we are going to chain two, and we will do a single crochet into the next five chain space. All right, then we're going to chain five, And we will skip the next single crochet. And then we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across. So we will repeat again by doing a single crochet into the next five chain space. Repeat that all the way across until the end of the row. Well, we reach our last repeat and we have two five chain spaces left. We're going to do a single crochet into the next five chain space we'll have made our five chain already before from our repeat. Then we are going to chain two and we'll do another double crochet, three double crochet cluster here. Then we'll chain two. And then we're gonna do a single crochet into the next five chain space. And then here, rather than doing five chains, we're going to chain two. And then we'll do a double crochet into the last single crochet, which is the last stitch in the row, right here. 
All right, then we're going to turn our work. Row three, we're going to begin by chaining one. Then we'll do a single crochet into the first double crochet. That's this one right here. Next, we're going to chain five. And then we'll do a three double crochet cluster into the first double crochet. Which is going to be this double crochet right here. All right, now we are going to start our repeat by doing a slip stitch into the next three double crochet cluster. That's this all the way over here. So the slip stitch will insert our hook into the top, yarn over and draw through both loops on the hook. Or draw through the loop on the hook. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to chain five. And we're going to do a three double clo crochet cluster into the slip stitch that we just made. So yarn over, insert, and draw through into that slip stitch. Okay, and draw through all of those there. Okay, now we're going to chain one and we will do a slip stitch into the next five chain space. That's this right here. So we'll just draw through that loop. Okay. Now we are going to chain five. And we'll do a three double crochet cluster into that slip stitch that we just made. All right. So once we finish that three double crochet cluster, we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. When we reach our last repeat, we're going to do a slip stitch into the three double crochet cluster. Then we'll chain five. And we'll do a three double crochet cluster into that slip stitch that we just made. And then we're going to finish up by doing a slip stitch into the last five chain space. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. Row four. We're going to begin by chaining five. Okay, and then we are going to do a single crochet into the five chain space right here. Then we are going to, this will start a repeat here. Then we'll chain two and we'll do a three double crochet cluster into the slip stitch. That's this right here.
All right, so it kind of makes like a little flower once you've got those three rows together. Then we'll chain two again, and we are going to do a single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we will chain five. And we will skip the next slip stitch, which is this one right here. Okay, and we'll repeat this again by doing a single crochet into the next five chain space. And continue repeating until we reach the last repeat of our row. Now when we reach our last repeat and we have two five chain spaces left, we are going to single crochet into the next five chain space. Oops, I'm missing a chain five here. Hold on. Now we'll single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we are going to work two chains and we will do a three double crochet into the next slip stitch. Three double crochet cluster. That is. All right. Then we will chain two and we'll do a single crochet into the last five chain space. And we'll chain two again. And we'll do a double crochet into the last single crochet at the end of the row. All right, and then we'll turn our work. Row five, we're gonna begin by chaining one. Then we'll do a single crochet into the first double crochet. That's the one right below our chain. Then we're going to start our repeat by chaining five. Then we're going to skip the next single crochet and we will do a single crochet into the next three double crochet cluster, which is this over here. Then we'll chain five. We'll skip another single crochet and we will do a single crochet into the next five chain space. And we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Row six, after we've turned our work, we'll begin by chaining two. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the single crochet. And then we will chain two. And we will single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we're going to chain five. and we will skip the next single crochet. Then we'll start our repeat by single crocheting into the next five chain space. Okay, and then we'll chain two. And we'll do a three double crochet cluster into the next single crochet.
Okay, then we're gonna chain two and we'll do a single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we are going to chain five. And then we're gonna continue repeating this sequence all the way across until we reach the last five chain space in the row. All right, when we reach our last five chain space in our row, uh, we'll have finished our last repeat and we will do a two double crochet All right, when we reach our last five chain space here, we're gonna finish up by doing a single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we're gonna chain two and we'll do a two double crochet cluster into the last single crochet. So yarn over, insert, and draw through, and draw through two, then yarn over, insert and draw through, yarn over and draw through two, that has three loops, yarn over and draw through all three loops. Okay, then we can turn our work. Row seven, we're gonna begin by chaining one, and then we will single crochet into the two double crochet cluster. Okay, then we'll chain four. And we're gonna do a three double crochet cluster into the previous stitch. So right down here. All right, now we'll continue by chaining one and we'll do our repeat by doing a slip stitch into the next five chain space. It's gonna be this right here. Okay, once we've done our slip stitch, we will chain five. Then we'll do a three double crochet cluster into that slip stitch that we just made. All right. Once we've done our three double crochet cluster, we will do a slip stitch into the next three double crochet cluster, which is this one right up here. Then we will chain five. And we'll do another three double crochet cluster into that same slip stitch. Then we're going to chain one, and we will repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the last five chain space in our row. When we reach our last five chain space, we'll do our slip stitch into it, and then we're going to chain five. Okay, 
So we'll do a three double crochet cluster into the slip stitch that we just made. Okay, now we're going to do a slip stitch or we're going to come across and we're going to do a single crochet into the double crochet here and that will finish up our row and then we'll turn our work. Row 8. We're going to begin by chaining 2. Then we're going to do a double crochet into the first single crochet. And we will chain two more. Then we're going to do a single crochet into the next five chain space. That's this one right here. Then we'll chain five. And we will skip the next slip stitch. That's this one here. We're going to start our repeat by doing a single crochet into the next five chain space. And we will chain two. Then we're going to do a three double crochet cluster into the next slip stitch. All right, then we'll chain two more and we'll do a single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we will chain five and skip the next slip stitch. So we'll repeat this sequence all the way across till we reach the last five chain space in our row. And when we reach the last five chain space in our row, we'll do a single crochet into the five chain space. And then we will chain two. And we'll do a double, two double crochet cluster into the last single crochet. All right, then we'll turn our work. Row nine. We'll begin by chaining one. Then we'll do a single crochet into the two double crochet cluster. Then we'll start our repeat by chaining five. And we will skip the next single crochet. And we'll do a single crochet into the next five chain space. Then we will chain five again. And skip the next single crochet. That's this one right here. And we will do a single crochet into the three double crochet cluster right here. All right, and we're gonna repeat this all the way across until we reach the last three double crochet cluster in the row. And when we reach the last three double crochet cluster in the row, we're going to chain five. Then we will single crochet in the next five chain space. And we will chain five again. Then we will skip the next single crochet. It's this right here. And we will do a single crochet into the last double crochet. It's this right here. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. So we're gonna repeat rows two through nine until we've reached our desired length. 
And that's how you crochet the Posy Arcade Stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.